I made this tap and die a couple of years ago for cutting wooden threads. Now I'm going to attempt to make a bigger one with this scaffold leveling screw. It's not 100% straight, I've been adjusting it backwards and forwards and I've got it pretty close so I'm going to go with that. So that didn't turn out as well as I hoped, I am a little bit off so I'm taking too much off this side and not enough off this side so what I'm going to try and do now is just do manually but I'm going to keep it mounted on the lathe. Now I need to put an angle on the cutting edge, so I'm using a half round file so I can get the, the flat face over. So now I need to make the screw box for cutting the threads in the dowel. It's in two pieces and I need to put a hole the size of the dowel to guide that through and then I need to make a hole slightly smaller that I need to tuck the threads into. This will need screwing together so I may as well do that now to keep everything aligned. So now we need to tap the smaller hole in the base. I haven't made a handle yet for the uh, for the tap, and that's because I'm not 100% confident any of this is going to work. So before I get to go spending my time on that, I'll just manage with these vice grips. If you look carefully, the bottom of the thread isn't a V, it's actually round, so I'm going to use a small round file and try and get that shape. The next job is to cut out a recess for the cutter and then the cutter needs lining up with the first thread. I'm starting to go off a little bit, I'm too far over, I don't really know what I've done there but anyway, now I can adjust it. I've still got enough material there to work with. 
this will be a little bit of trial and error just a bit of adjustment here and there and if I go too far I could always glue a block back in and have another go at it So now let's try it against the thread, see how close we are. Screw that down past the tape up, so we've got a full thread. About there. And that's looking pretty good, I'm a bit loose at the back here, there's no support there. But I need to use screws to hold this down, so that should push it up against this wall here but that looks pretty good I'm going to put one screw in just at the back of it here but then I need to put one here but the head needs to sink lower than the surface so it sits on top of the cutter so I'm just going to drill a hole there and come down so far like I say this is all just trial and error but we'll get there so the recess is done on the back to accommodate the screw and the cutter sticking up slightly but now what we need to do is if we try to cut that the dowel won't reach the the cutter so we need to drill the larger hole slightly into there just down to the depth of the cutter so I need to take the cutter back off and we'll screw this back on and use it as a guide Just touched it but I think that's enough so let's put that back together and we'll give it a go
So there's our test piece finished. It's just the simple nut and bolt and it works very well. The nut turns freely. There's no slop in it whatsoever. So it worked very well in something like a vice. There is a little bit of chip out here and there, but it's really not too bad and it still works perfectly. So thanks for watching. Hopefully it was useful to somebody. And if you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.